Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this video is basically going to be a tutorial of the site RBLX.Trade, which is a very useful trading site for, you know, just getting to know more about trading, just becoming an absolute trading god, okay? This site right here and this tutorial will basically show you all you need to use this site with ease and also become a better trader in the process. So please just watch this video all the way to the end. I promise me this video is going to be useful for you. You're going to learn all about the site. You're going to be able to understand how this is used. All right, so let's get started right away. And let's just try to make this tutorial not too, like the intro of this tutorial not too long. Okay, so let's just get started. So first up, we have the catalog section on the very top right here. We're going to be going from left to right as I talk about all the different features that the site has. So basically in the catalog section right here, let's click on the Roblox catalog right here. And it'll show you by default all the different items right here that were created a very long time ago. This is one of the very first hats on Roblox, if not the very first hat on Roblox. And it is a hat that was created on May 30th of 2007, aka the Pirate Captain's hat. So this feature right here is very useful if you want to do a history video. You know, if you want to make a YouTube video on the history of a different and a specific Roblox hat, this is very, very useful because you can click on one of these. And you can just see all the different things that, honestly, you can just see so much. Like, honestly, the amount of available copies, it just shows you so much. It is, like, actually really cool. And you can always also change what it sorts it by. For example, most recently created Roblox hat. Well, by Roblox, of course. Anyways, um, most recent is Cup of Gawa. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But honestly, pretty cool nonetheless. Pretty cool feature. And again, you can do really anything, oldest created, highest favorites. It doesn't even matter. You can really do so much as long as it, and this doesn't really work for limiteds. However, guess what? There is a thing that you can do for limiteds, which we will get to later in this video. So second, we have the trading section. And, and basically there's a section where you can create a trading ad. And if you want to create a trading ad, you just press create right there. And what's an item that I have? I know one of the items that I have is a Platinum Eye that I'm trying to give away. So we're going to select a Platinum Eye right here. And then for a request, um, what do I want? I kind of want a Shaggy. I want, uh, I want to hoard some Shaggies because honestly, I mean, why not? I mean, Shaggies are cool. You know, why not? And then again, Shaggy right here. And then last but not least, a Shaggy right there. And see, the trade ad is a little unfair because I'm trying to get 2.6k for a 2.2k item. So I'm going to select uh, my Snow Leopard Fedora. So let's type in Snow Leopard Fedora right here. And honestly, there we go. Perfect. So this is what I'll be trading for three Shaggies. And we can create the trade ad right here. And um, it says one or more of the items you offered are not owned by your account. Okay, this is because I asked. Okay, I forgot about that. I actually sold my Snow Leopard Fedora just a bit ago. But honestly, if you use your items that you do own, you will be able to create a trade ad. Like, it'll work. There we go. Perfect, perfect. So you can see I'm offering this for that. It's a little bit unfair, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how to create a trade ad. Then we have the item catalog, and this is basically the catalog section, but with limiteds. And this will show you all the different limiteds rather than normal items. And you can even see when these items went limited. For example, the Dominus Frigidus went on, went not went on sale, went limited in 2011, which is a very long time ago. So you can select it from whatever you want to. Honestly, you can select it from lowest wrap, which is, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think this is, okay. Highest wrap, there we go, which is the Dominus Astra for 12,000, what is it? Oh, 12 million value, oh my gosh. But basically, this is a pretty cool feature, you know, you can just see what items are, you know, what, 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 what is the word for it? Which items are the most expensive? That's not the word I was thinking of. <laughs> we are moving on to the player section. So basically what you can do here is you can search in players and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like we should just search a player right now. We're going to search up the lovely user of the, or the lovely owner of the site. So why is it not working? D0XT. And okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. So we're going to go on to free docs site, or not site, profile. There we go. And it does 
file alone sometimes, but you can already see right here his graph. He's just kind of hovering at around 500k rapid value. Okay, there we go. And we can also see every single item that he has. And by the way, when you look at these items, these are all up today. Like these are all like literally the moment you get it, it'll show up on here. So it's very, very useful. It's always up to date. So you can see that he has five Da Vinci copters and 523 Gucci GG Marma bags, which is absolutely insane, honestly. So honestly, it's really cool that you can see all this kind of stuff because it's very useful when trying to trade with someone because you can already, you know, and it's also good because you can screenshot someone's inventory and, you know, that way just send it to someone and say, oh yeah, this person has this and this, you should trade them or whatever. Really, there's so many uses for this feature and all that kind of stuff. These profiles are really cool, well designed and everything. So next up, we have the group section where you can search up groups. And honestly, it's very useful because on Roblox, it'll tend to recommend the groups with the most amount of people on them, like with the most amount of, uh, what is it, group members. And honestly, this one doesn't do that. For example, if you just type in like Flamingo, because the Flamingo fan club is one of the highest groups on, or is one of the most player, most member groups. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> groups with the most members on Roblox. This will basically just show you all of them, really. Like, for example, it'll show you ones that have like literally 10 members on the top page. Like, that is crazy. And it's really useful, too, because you can even search up yours. Like, for example, this is an old inactive group that I don't use anymore, but it's called the Forum Devs right here. And honestly, it's really cool, too, because you can see this in better detail. You can see all the, uh, you know, all the things, really. You can just see when it was created. I don't know why it says November 10, 2022, because I, this group is over two years old. And honestly, you can see this graph here, too, which is actually pretty cool. And since this group is inactive, you can see that the member count is just going up and down, just randomly. No no movement really right here. And overall, this is pretty cool right here because, I mean, it, it's useful. It is useful. And overall, a pretty cool way to view groups. Next up, we have the forum section. And basically, the forums are not very active at the moment. However, it is pretty cool nonetheless because you can just see what people have to say about the site. And right now, it doesn't really look like there's too much actually related to the site, but it doesn't really matter. For example, if you want to post something on the forums, just, you know, talking about the site, you could just, you know, and, and, or even report a bug or whatever. Like, there's a section for that. Um, we're we're going to find it right here. Bugs and suggestions. And, it's like, um, if you want to report a bug feature, like, I don't know. I don't know. If you want to report a bug or whatever in the site or whatever, you could just type whatever the heck you want to. And for a signature, you can do whatever the heck you want to, honestly. The signature, you know, it can be your name. It can be, like, like a quote or something. It can be really anything. So, you know, you can put anything in your signature, really, or anything in your body. And, well, not anything in your body. That sounds kind of weird. <laughs> anything in the body paragraph of this section. Then we can create the thread. And, basically, it starts a whole new um, thread on the Bugs and Suggestions channel. However, you know, let's say you kind of regret posting it. You can always delete the thread right here. And simple as that. It's gone. So basically, um, there's not really much, too much to say about the forums. Just overall basic, you know, stuff. Not too much to say about the forums. It's kind of an inactive feature, but still kind of cool nonetheless. Then we have the leak section. And this item right here is really cool because you can see all the items that Roblox releases. That has not gone on sale yet, and some of this has gone on sale, but when it was put onto the leak section, it was not. And overall, it's pretty useful because you can, you know, let's say one of these items is going to go limited, and you can, you know, kind of wait until it goes limited, basically. You can get it on time just by seeing, like, oh, it's out, I gotta wait for it to go on sale and all kind of stuff. So, overall, pretty useful. Then we have the deal section right here, and basically, it's very similar to a Rollymon's feature. But basically, you can see all the different um, values, or no, you can see all the different wraps of different items right here, just very live right now. Like, for example, you can see these are live right now. For example, let's go to Gucci Guitar Case. It's selling for 318 Robux. And you can see right there, 318 Robux. So it is completely live, and you can see when one item goes on sale for really, really cheap. And this one is not the best deal because it's only a 10% deal meaning you wouldn't actually get much profit from it whatsoever, plus it's a very low demand item. 
But nonetheless, it is pretty useful because, you know, you can just kind of snipe an item if it goes on sale for really cheap and buy it. Basically, you can save yourself a ton of Robux and all that stuff. And do be aware, though, it, it, not all of these are accurate because it doesn't have a projection checker. For example, this item right here is not actually worth 1,214 Robux right here. It is actually worth around 70. And honestly, this is not a bad deal. I think I'm going to buy this, actually, because it's selling for 95. And, you know, of course, you know, maybe I'll sell it for, like, 95. I didn't earn too much profit. But you know what? Now I have an Inkwell egg. It's for buying it. It doesn't even matter. So basically, yeah, that's just a little demonstration on how this works right here. And then, of course, there's the search, search section. Why am I not able to speak right now? So then there's the catalog section. You can search in catalog or players. And let's say, you know, you want to look for a specific item. Like, for example, I'm going to search up the green wistful wank right here. And again, you can really see this in super good detail. For example, you can see, you know, it used to be around 23,000 Robux. And then it, after a bunch of new limiteds went on sale, it went down to 10,000. And now it's kind of gradually increasing once again. And what's really cool, sure, you may be able to see about this much on Roblox. But guess what you can see with Arbulix I trade? You can see all the way back to like, oh my gosh, like mid 2019. And this item was worth only 1,500 Robux. Like that is actually like really cool. And honestly, it's super good for, you know, getting the history of an item and all that kind of stuff. You can also see the owner's list. You can also just see really anything you really want to, honestly. It gives you a lot of detail on every item, really. And you can also search up different players. You can click on any of these people here if you want to. For example, Stickmaster Luke. And also just, you know, overall, just see all the, you know, the change in his uh, graph, I guess it is. And we're going to wait for the things to load real quick because it does take a while, as I have shown before. Okay, it's taking a little too long to load, so we're going to load up my own profile real quick. And that way I should load a little bit faster. There we go, perfect. So you can see all the different items that I have and all that. Overall, very cool feature. And the reason it decreased to zero on this day is because I got beamed. And I never did get a rollback, but I managed to do some really good trades and all that and get back to almost where I was. Yes, I'm a poor on, as people say, in RTC. And speaking of RTC, you may have no idea what RTC is, but honestly, I'm going to show you right now. So RTC is a Discord server specifically for RBLX.Trade, and it is extremely useful because it's honestly more useful than the site at times because it's probably, it's probably one of, if not the best trading Discord server that there is. So honestly, I highly recommend joining RBLX.Trade if you want to become a good trader. And I'm going to be, you know, just kind of showing what R what the RTC server has right now. It'll take a while to verify in the server, but once you finally do it, there is a trading help section. And you can really just trade, your, you can like send pictures of whatever trades you receive or trades you want to send to someone. And, you know, and you can just say W slash L on the text of it. And you and it will automatically put a win or loss, um, what is it, reaction for it. And people can, you know, look at it. So we're going to look at this right now. Beautiful hair for beautiful space people. And they want, and then the trade that they have is black iron antlers, inkwell egg, silver thorn antlers, and sinister branches. So inkwell egg is worth about 75 Robux in general. So... Probably about 1,000, well, here, we'll just take off 900 from this, of the actual value, so 6,700, I think. That would probably be it, but, um, <clears throat> overall, probably not the best trade. You could probably do better. Where did it go? There we go. There's definitely better trades that you can get for this item. So, anyways, you know, it's really useful. Plus, you can also do your trade advertisements by sending, you know, the items that you have and these are all done on rolly mods really a lot of people use rolly mods to show their inventory but honestly it works just as well if you show it on rblx on trade because you know you get the same exact features like this and you know i'm gonna you know take a screenshot of it real quick there we go let's just do collectibles there we go and i could go on here and just say you know my items trade lol there we go perfect and basically it is a trade advertisement. People may DM you or whatever just to see, you know, you know, if you, you know they want to trade with you or whatever. Basically, a pretty useful feature nonetheless. Then in the more section, we have preferences, and honestly, there isn't too much to say about this. And you know, you can choose privacy settings. You can allow comments on your profile. So basically, if you go to your profile, 
it should show it if I'm not mistaken. Well, it doesn't right now. Maybe maybe I think the feature's been broken for a while, but we'll we'll ignore that. Then it's that sessions it just shows when you logged in or whatever and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, it's pretty cool. And then also for the forums, if you do use the forums, you can manage your subscribe threads and it automatically does subscribe to your threads that you create, which you can always, you know, which you can always unsubscribe from, you know. This is a thread I created all the way back in July of last year. And let's say, you know, you want to unsubscribe, there's just this subscribe and unsubscribe button right here. If you want to delete an old post, well, there's really no reason for me to, but it's really as simple as that. So... I don't use the forums much, so it really doesn't matter if I'm subscribed or unsubscribed or whatnot. And then, of course, there is a Discord support server for RBLX Trade called RBLX Trade Moderation Support. And basically, this is where people can report bugs to moderators that are like, you know, lifetime moderators basically you can make support tickets and whatnot. So we're going to just do that right now. RBLX Trade Moderation Support. And you should be able to create a ticket and... I am a moderator, so if you want to, you know, talk to one of us, you know, one of the moderators, just create a moderation assistance ticket, and basically, you know, if you have a bug or whatnot, like if you have a problem or something, if you need, a, if you have a problem with something, we will be able to answer your questions. So honestly, if you have any problems with the site or whatnot, just be sure to you know let us know, basically. And honestly, this does basically confirm, you know, the entire video, basically. So. Hopefully this tutorial does help you a lot. Hopefully it does help you, you know, get used to the site and whatnot. Hopefully you become a better trader from here. Hopefully this tutorial is useful. So basically, if this tutorial did help, then like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.